talk about a big oof. The Indiana Hoosiers are getting absolutely smacked by Ohio State, 54 to 7. And what makes this game so much more lopsided and why it's one of the most lopsided football games I've ever seen is the fact that in the entire first half, it was literally Indiana just getting three and outs, getting sacked every play, slipping the ball in the rain, slipping on the turf. It, that was every Indiana drive in the first half, and every Ohio State drive was just touchdown, touchdown. Oh, here's a touchdown. Oh, you get a touchdown. Oh, you get a touchdown, Chris. You get another touchdown, Travion. It was just not even close. There is, It is so hard to, to kind of pinpoint out new things we learned about this team after a game like this. It's just difficult when nothing is happening in the game. Oh, my God. It's about to end here. Indiana's got the ball. Nice handoff. They gained like three yards. There's a minute and a half to go. I know IU was not well two and four. I mean, what what was IU doing before this game? Lost by five to Michigan State and in a competitive game, shut out by Penn State, beat Western Kentucky, lost to Cincy in a relatively close game, killed Idaho, lost to Iowa big. It's been like a it's been a it's been a mediocre season, but this was this wasn't even I mean Indiana didn't come to play. Nobody came to watch Indiana, nobody came to play for Indiana. Ohio State just sleepwalked, which was essentially all they needed to do. All they needed to do was sleepwalk through this game. As soon as Indiana's QB got hit in the first quarter, it was Jack Tuttle, then it was like this is not happening because Indiana responded. They tied. They almost. They tied the game there with their first and right now what is going to be their only touchdown. There's 30 seconds left. It's going to be their only touchdown. The game's going to end 54 to seven. Let's just see this last play here before we uh, peruse through our discussion. Okay, there's the there's the tackle. Uh, fourth down. Oh, are they going to be able to run a play on fourth down? Is it going to happen? Get the ticker up here of the of the Big Ten scores. Uh, no, they're not going to be able to run a play. That's game fifty four to seven win for Ohio State. Just an absolute mockery of the Indiana Hoosiers. Buckeyes proving that uh, they've got the best offense in the country. Far and away the best offense in the country. Let's just break down some of the stats because OSU just continues to roll offensively. C.J. Stroud seven incompletions. 266 passing yards and four touchdowns. Another phenomenal day for C.J. Stroud. He's just getting better and better every game. Travion Henderson should be a Heisman finalist at this rate. He's having a remarkable season. Two touchdowns running for 81 rushing yards, nine carries. Oh, and let's add a receiving touchdown, a 14-yard receiving touchdown to go along with that. He's got 14 touchdowns now, which is four away from tying Maurice Claret's OSU freshman record, which who, who would have thought that would be broken? He's four away from tying the record. It, it, we, they're halfway through the season. OSU is six and one. Six and one or seven and one? They're six and one. Yeah, six and one. And Travion Henderson needs five more touchdowns to break Maurice Claret's freshman record, which I think he's going to break. I think it will happen. Phenomenal from Travion Henderson. Mayan Williams scored a touchdown. He got hurt there during the game, but we'll see if he comes back. And once again, the receivers, I mean, getting all the catches. Smith and Jigba, Garrett Wilson, Ruckert had two touchdowns. Olave caught his 30th OSU touchdown. Uh, phenomenal. More I see CJ uh, play, more impressed I am getting. That kind of has improved. You're right. He's improved each week. Troy, you're right. That's I think what's that's why I think Ohio State is starting to become one of the hottest teams in the country. 